Hi, we are Street Stories. Um, we chose the name Street Stories because we thought this name sounded cool. We actually found it in an old uh, poster of a band we had in our room. And it does not have any, you know, it's not like a thing that we are from the streets or something like that. But it's just something we thought that sounds cool for a band name. Uh, we have progressed a lot, I guess, in terms of songwriting and song, uh, and song arrangements. But uh, music-wise, genre-wise, I think we are going back to our roots this time on the new album. That, uh, on, on the new album that we have planned for. It's very different. You know, we are out of our comfort zone when you are in the cities and and people are more receptive and open to, you know, any kind of genres. So, it's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's a very interesting experience for us to come out of Northeast and uh, try to uh, go to a new place and play to a new crowd. And it did take us some time because we were very young and we were new and we were just learning how to do this kind of things and just getting to know how everything works in terms of touring and things like that. Individually, I listen to, like at least I used to or I still do, I used to listen to a lot of uh, pop, pop punk music of the 2000s and I think that's my main source of influence in terms of songwriting and performing and uh, yeah, the lyrics wise and music uh, composition wise for Street Stories. Um, one of my favorite bass players would be uh, Chris Barker, plays for a band called Anti-Flag and Actually, it really inspired me to take interest in the instrument that I play in, that is the bass guitar, because of you know, watching and listening to him. And also I have Flea, who's a very energetic and you know amazing bass player. I've been listening to many music bands and I can't say if I have like only one guy to follow. So I listen to many artists and there are many drummers who inspire me. Oh yes, it definitely does. Uh, we get, whenever we collaborate, we get introduced to their crowd and they get introduced to our crowd and it's like sharing audience and I think that way it's very uh, interesting and it's good for bands or artists to collaborate. And we have done that also before and we plan to do more of that if possible. Um, we are not so sure about that and yeah, I mean like uh, digital music has its own pros and cons. Like I believe it's very, it has made music very accessible and you know it has broken barriers in terms of distance and everything because of the internet and such distributions. It has broken through a lot of barriers but yeah it also has its own uh, downfalls to it. But I think, like, I think in this era, in this generation, we are catching up to the digital format and with all these forms of streaming, finding music online and everyone is moving into that platform. So I think this is a new future for us, for everyone, for all musicians. Our songs are mostly about me because I'm writing the lyrics. <laughs> Apart from that, I think some of them are about Vico and a few more will be about Gideon soon. So that's yeah, and topic-wise, it's um, we don't have any particular topic. It's just a uh, very we sing about love, life. We sing about anger. We sing about being depressed. We sing about friendship. We sing about just basically what real things that you know real that things, we go yeah, through whatever is daily surrounds us. Yeah, our genre is uh, pop punk. And the balance between that two, I don't know if there is a balance because I think there is a separate genre altogether. But yeah, it has a lot of. I think pop mainly comes from the singing style and the melody, like uh, melody-wise and uh, singing style. But yeah, the music is uh, most definitely punk and stuff like. That. So I think that's where the thin line is. I think we did an EP. We did an EP back in 2006. We had some. 2016. Uh, 2016, I mean, we had uh, we had this 
uh, electronic music influence, we had our friend Daniel Langtasa from Digital Society, he's from Haflong. We had him come and work with us on that project. And that was the one project we had which uh, had this kind of influence. And on our next record, I don't, well, we don't uh, actually plan on that. Those search. Uh, sometimes I write the lyrics, or sometimes he comes up with the music, or sometimes he go comes up with the lyrics, and it's just we don't have a there's we there's don't no have a particular system. Yeah, there's no particular system. We just go with whatever comes. Sometimes music comes first, sometimes lyrics come first, sometimes drums come first, or whatever, something like that. We played at Zero back in 2012. I think that's a very memorable one because there was a big break for us and yeah I, I guess that's it just don't stop <laughs> yeah don't stop keep writing music uh, every day is a progress uh, every day you learn something uh, there's no limit or an end to songwriting so as much as we explore just keep doing it that's I think that's the most important thing apart from just storing or just making money or something like that you know, we should keep writing and keep exploring.